To cut large things on your HandyBot, you need to divide your cutting files up into tiles. And you can do that with VCarve so that you can cut large things using the, the ShopBot large material jig for the HandyBot. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to do that. Okay, I wanted to explain to you guys how to tile toolpaths in VCarve for use on the HandyBot. So here I've got a uh, toolbox that I want to cut out. And this is laid out on a sheet uh, that is uh, four foot by four foot, which is much larger than the HandyBot's cutting envelope of eight inches on the Y and six inches on the X. So it's actually really simple to do this. Um, what you do is just bring your uh, vectors into VCarve and set them up as if they were gonna be on a large machine that could cut this all in one pass. Don't worry about um, doing any tiling or, or optimizing for a smaller machine. Uh, just find the size of material you wanna cut it on and set up your tool paths. So in this case, I have my tool paths all set up here as profile one. Once you do that, then you go over here and you click the tile tool paths button. And that's going to bring up the toolpath tiling manager. What you need to do is check this off and you can set up the tile size. So in this case, um, I've selected individual tiles because I want files, uh, individual tile files, which you will see in a moment. And the X and Y I have set to six inches. Now, I did mention earlier that the HandyBot can move eight inches on the Y. Um, the reason that this is set for 6 inches by 6 inches is that the jigs that are available on the HandyBot store are set for 6 inches by 6 inches. And it just makes the math um, a little easier and the spacer is a little more universal. Um, so make sure you have it set that way. You don't need any overlap. And once you set those settings, click Update Tiles. I'm just going to move this over here. And now you can see that your uh, your layout is divided into six inch by six inch tiles. Now, when you go to save your toolpath, make sure that you have output all visible toolpaths to one file, and you also have output tiled toolpaths checked off. When you do that, click save, find the directory, give it a file name, and all of your tile files will come as separate ShopBot files and save into that directory. So I typically like to put them in a, um, a separate directory away from my drawings just because in this case it's going to create about 56 files. So this is what a directory of tile files look like. Um, in this case I don't have a file name, I just have T1, T2, and T3. And um, what you would normally do on the HandyBot is call each one of these files individually, place the HandyBot on that particular tile, and then run the file. Um, that is a perfectly acceptable way to do it. I also have written a script um, up here called HandyBot Call a Whole Directory, and that will call these files automatically in order, so you don't have to keep going into the file manager on the HandyBot to open that up. I will show you how that works right now. All right, so the way to cut a tiled toolpath on the HandyBot, um, there are two ways that you could do it. You can go to File, and you go to Part File Load, you can find the directory where you've stored all your tiles, place the machine on T1 if that's where you're starting, and find the, uh, the T1 file, click Open, set up your parameters, and this cuts like a normal ShopBot file. So you just simply load the file, and when the file loads up, you hit the Go button, and your tile will start cutting. Now, since we're cutting just an individual file, once that tile, that first tile is done cutting, the ShopBot software stops and it's waiting for you to load up another file. So you could just go to File and Part File Load and load the next tile, and that's a totally acceptable way to do it. Um, another way that you could do it is using a script that I wrote that will help you out. So if we go to File and Part File Load, and in that same directory where all the tiles are, I actually copied this script called HandyBot Cut a Whole Directory. And we open that up, and we start it, and the first thing it's going to do is actually zero out your machine. That's built into the script automatically. So we'll watch here. And I like to do that because I always zero out my machine on the first tile, 
And because it's now built into the script, I don't need to do it uh, manually. It will just happen automatically. You do need to set your Z0 before you start this script though. So now it's saying that the tool is zero to next and Y, and it's gonna automatically load up tile T1. So you can see after you click okay, uh, for saying that, um, after the machine says that it's zeroed out, it'll say uh, cutting tile one. So you push okay, push our green go button, and we're off and running. So now it's cutting tile T1. So when it's done cutting the first tile, it'll pop up this message and it'll ask you if you'd like to continue. And if you hit OK, it will tell you that it's cutting tile T2. So you'd move your machine over to T2, push OK, and the cutting automatically starts. So this makes it a lot easier to cut uh, multiple tiles without having to go into file and part file load every single time and possibly making a mistake. This will just go through one tile after another automatically.